Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're back with Humphrey. This is part two in the Can We Save Humphrey series. Um, if anything, he's looking a little bit better. I'll put a link up there, up there somewhere, to the previous video where, very quickly, he's not himself. Something is clearly wrong. I've done some treatments, nothing's really worked. He is making some improvements, but nothing fast. So he's the main thing that was worrying me was off his food and very lethargic. He was just sit at the bottom of the tank or just sit at the top of the tank. He is at least moving around now. He's interacting with me somewhat, but his skin doesn't look good. His fins are, do, do not look good. So there's definitely some kind of bacterial issue, but it's probably a secondary thing rather than the thing that's actually causing it. Um, and I'm just I'm very reticent to just dump in meds. Um, so I asked, and thank you very much for everyone who commented on the last video, but the main comments were, his breathing's heavy, you know, put in some rock salt, do this, do that, do the other. Definitely all things that I'm considering. So some of the more left field things that we got were, is there any electricity leaking into the tank somewhere? And I hadn't even considered that. So I got myself a multimeter, thank you very much to all the guys on Discord helping me out with that one, um, and tested it. Tested it by getting a multimeter, setting it to voltage, one in the water, one on ground. I used one of my copper pipes for that. And there was, there was a very small voltage in the water. Um, and I traced it and found that it was one of the heaters that I was using in this tank. So it was one of the old heaters was putting a little bit of electricity into the, the tank, which while it might not have been the root cause of the problems, it certainly wasn't helping. So we've got rid of that. Um, that's gone. The heat has been raised and air has been in there because, as you know, more heat equals less oxygen, so we need to balance that out. And if he is on the road to recovery without me doing anything, then great, but I don't think he's doing it fast enough. He's, he's still not really eating properly. Um, so we're moving on to the next phase, which is, is it gill flukes? Is it some kind of parasite? Is there something else going on in there? We're going to do a scrape. So a scrape of a fish involves you literally scraping along the lateral line uh, of the fish and looking at that under a microscope, see if you can see anything in there and hopefully determine what that thing is and then treat it appropriately. Um, I do have a microscope. I cannot for the life of me find it, but luckily for me, my wife is a science teacher, so I've got her to borrow one of the microscopes from school. Well, she is a science teacher, I didn't realize she was a science teacher in a school in Russia in the 1950s. Should work though. So those of you who might be koi keepers or something like that are probably going to be laughing at me here. Um, <laughs> having better techniques than me for doing this. I think the, the generally accepted way to do this is to get the fish out, sedate it, then get it into a position, do your scrape, put it into a recovery bucket and put it back in the tank. The, the way that I've done it in the past, it's probably, so this is a don't do as I do thing. I'm just going to get him out into a, a wet towel, onto a flat surface, cover up his head with the wet towel because that kind of calms him down a little bit and do the scrape and get him straight back into the tank. The reason is because I think the process of sedation might be enough to push him over the edge, so I want to do this as quickly as possible. Um, hopefully with as less stress as possible because I, I just think putting them into a smaller container adding some sedative, waiting for that time that's going to be more stressful than an in, scrape, out out, scrape, in so that's what I'm going to do um, I'm just going to get this towel nice and wet Aquarium Adventures towels available on aquariumadventure.co.uk shouldn't really be shilling while I'm trying to save my fish but That gets that nice and wet onto here. So the plan is to use this very wet towel, uh, get Humphrey out in here on the net, cover up his head possibly, get the scrape done, get him back in, minimizing the amount of stress that he's got. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Now, time for a soaking. Get him out, cover his eyes, pressure of a pencil to get the scrape along the top as well. 
and then get them back in. Now he's never going to talk to me again. And there you go, we've got a nice big bit of gunky slime coat and a scale maybe. Get that under the microscope and see what we've got. So I've had a good scrape off there. I've got a lot of material. I've spent ages looking at it. I can't see anything in there. So I don't think it is anything parasitic. I don't think it's flukes or anything like that. Um, I got them from around the gills and across the, the back as well. So I think the problem's got to be more fungal or bacterial. Um, the, micro, the microscope isn't strong enough to see bacteria. Um, but the things that I can see on Humphrey himself is the fin rot that we can see. And they might all be secondary things, but they might be primary, who knows. So I'm going to treat for that. I'm going to use a product called Esha 2000. Um, because that does treat all those things. It's a fungal bacterial fin rot treatment. Um, it's a three day course. Um, I was considering moving them into a smaller tank so I could get enough, but this will be enough to treat for the three days in this tank and I think it's less stressful not to move them again. Um, so I'm going to get on with that. A load of drops in this day and then slightly less the next couple of days. Follow the instructions. So it's the next day, um, put the treatment in last night, I was literally just about to go out and get the camera, the mic, you probably can't even hear me, and get it set up to do a, he looks much better. Um, he's been a, a bit brighter, a bit more active, swimming around, looking happy, and I was about to make a nice, oh, everything seems to be going well. And I went to get the camera set up. He looks less well now. Um, he has righted himself once and swum around again for a, a minute or so and then he's gone back to some kind of spin bladder issue or... S I don't know. Not looking good. He's not doing great, so I think I'm going to have to result to plan B. I'm, I'm getting this tank up to temperature. It's a bare tank. Um, I know the water's good in there. It's the same water. It won't shock him or anything. All I'm thinking is there might be some medication, hasn't agreed with them, get them out of the medication, it'll be quicker to get this up to temperature than it will be to drain that down. Um, and then if there is anything suspect in that tank, well at least we've got that to deal with. So, half hour or so, we should be getting them in there, but then again the stress of that's probably going to... There's nothing good about this situation. Back in a minute. Well, it was a nice idea, but Humphrey didn't make it. So there's that, um, about 10 minutes later, I'm just about getting ready to get him into this tank. Looked around and he was just lying lifeless on the bottom. So I've had him in a net just to, just in case he comes round, but nope. Um, so I kind of always pride myself on this being a warts and all channel and this is very much a wart. Um, Humphrey was the channel mascot. He was my most interactive fish, my favourite fish. So, sucks. Um, I'm sure there will be time for figuring out what might have happened and what I could have done different and all that. And feel free to leave comments. I probably won't read them for a while at least. Um, so, this video took a turn. Um, normally like to leave on a nice happy message and see you in the live stream but yeah there's no two ways about it it's a bit of a sucky message thanks for watching uh, click subscribe the next video is bound to be a bit more cheery um yeah bye